Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Why, hello there, and welcome back. Welcome back, guys, and welcome... Stacy. She's our newest Patreon. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much, Stacy, for joining the Patreon family. This is take two. Um, we did put a video up, and then we didn't realize that apparently there was sound playing, even though the sound was turned off in the background, of some protests going on over here in San Francisco. Uh, yes, this is a driverless vehicle that was attacked and set ablaze in San Francisco by a cheering mob. You know, gosh, you remember those movies, Escape from L.A. and Escape from New York? Well, you know, it's Escape from all the bigger metro metropolises right now. It's just getting to be very, very chaotic. Um, some might say, well, you're just simply looking for things to talk about. Uh, no, it's getting crazy out there. It's really getting crazy out there. Well, and, and this was, uh, this is in uh, little, little China. This is San Francisco. Um, this is a problem because if you've ever been there, you can see that there's a lot, a lot of, of people there's a lot of, of, you know, trading. There's a lot of clothing. There's food. They they do everything down there. This is, um, it's Chinatown. And it's huge. And I've been down there. And it really concerned me because it's so packed all the time. All the time this place is just packed. There's got to be, I don't know how much money goes through there a day. I, I just could not imagine or fathom. But I can tell you with something like this, um, this is really a big deal. And if I witness something like this being down there as packed as it is all the time, I would freak. I would have freaked. Yeah, as we've been saying for a long time and we understand um, and people might not want to hear it. But just know, again, the cities during these times are not going to be the best place to be. Um, this is the time to kind of ride out the storm as much as you can. Uh, and everybody has their own circumstances. We understand that totally. Uh, just saying, again, uh, when you hear the train or rolling coming down that track, it's usually best to jump off the track till the train goes by. Uh, it is just chaos right now. Now, you know, here also the significance of California and San Francisco and Chinatown. Again, there's tons of people coming in from China. Uh, many of them of military age, apparent military background. I mean, there's been even cases where people have been spotted uh, crossing the border illegally. And then people, ha others have found training pictures that these people are part of the People's Liberation Army. And they're coming over in massive numbers. We know there are sleeper cells galore. In, in the country right now, also throughout Europe. And this is this is the beginning of the go time. It does feel that many of these sleeper cells are becoming anxious. Um, and there there's all sorts of random attacks and things going on. It is absolutely crazy. It's also crazy over in Russia, too. And, and all the crazy weather phenomena that we've seen all around the world has included China and Russia and other places too, both sides, the BRICS and the NATO. Again, this is war against humanity is what's going on. War against the planet, war against life. As you had three different uh, roofs pop up on fire at the time that the interview was going on between Putin and Tucker, uh, they just sort of went up in smoke Coincidence? No, nothing is coincidental. This is Julia Mejia, Boston, Massachusetts Councilwoman, explaining that Boston's migrant shelters are nearing capacity. Everybody needs to do your thing as a citizen and show your heart by opening up your doors and taking a migrant today. Well, you know, I think we should always be striving to help humanity, but Again, when a crisis is manufactured, when a crisis doesn't have to be, and it's being manufactured for the express purpose of, again, more control, more profits, you know, more for the elite, less for us. And, and it's also at a time where that attack on humanity is going to an all new level. 
we can see right through you. We can see right through all these politicians. Right. And I mean, she looks like someone who is fairly well off and she's she's very well put together and she should lead by example. So she should have at least, you know, a few dozen going on in with her so that she can take care of them and and her home i'm sure she would want to lead by example right you know here here is the reality when you when it comes to politics and stuff how do you get elected it, it, it it's all sales it's all sales it's all marketing you market a person you sell the person this this is the reality it's it's a popularity contest think back to high school and i remember even in my own uh, childhood where the quote unquote popular kids would always get pushed to front and center. And yet there might have been some what you might call a brainiac in the background that would have been a better choice for a certain project. But no, let's let's let the popular kids do it. This is what you got with the politicians, too. And, and this is the reality of the world that's that's setting in. Um, man, there's I was going to jump out of. OK, let me. One, two, three, four. Okay, we're four tags in. While we're talking about uh, representatives and councilwomen, this is Kevin J. Boyle. He's been serving his citizens since 2011. He's a Democrat serving Philadelphia County. Okay, well, this is him. Philly Crime Update. What do you got? You have the Democratic Pennsylvania State House Rep, Kevin Boyle, seen in the video. He's drunk as a skunk, and he's threatening to use his political power to shut down the local businesses. He goes on a tirade, accusing the bartenders of being military agents. Um, and, you know, he, he, he has a potty mouth. And so, you know, I'm not going to play this whole thing but boy you know drunk as a skunk not one of his better days um yeah we 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 can all have these these issues we can all have these issues at at certain times and just again i want to just get making a point so to get across the type of people that are our elected officials and here you have hungary's president Catalin novak she's resigned from the office of president of the republic oh yeah why did she resign well you know again there's so much being uncovered and i don't dare say these words but you guys can can read what what is going on the reality is it's again a popularity contest when you look at the politicians there, they often have a, a a certain magnetism to them, and they are just they're posters. Do they make a good poster? Do they make uh, a good representation of what uh, they want to sell to us? Because it is again, it's all sales. When you see through it, who these people are. You know, they're they're not the cream of the crop. No, the, in many cases, they're the dregs of society. Now, speaking about chaos and speaking about taking a, 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 an illegal immigrant into your home tonight, you wouldn't want to have the luck of the draw to get this gentleman because he's brandishing a knife and he seems kind of crazed. There's been a lot of this going on. Now, again, most of the illegal migrants, they're just simply looking for a better chance at life. Many of them have literally been driven away from their homes because their homes are blown up to bits in these nonstop endless wars. Or they've you know, faced such economic situations that they're desperate. That is the majority. But when we are talking about tens of millions, tens of millions that have been just pouring in for decades and the amount of sleeper cells, if the sleeper cells are anywhere between one and 10 percent, we're in trouble. <laughs> and this is the reality. And we don't have to look anywhere else for, uh, you know, basically confirmation of this as, yes, that is a machete that's being held to this woman in Miami in, in a hallway. Uh, yeah, this is threatening. And, you know, this is Miami Beach. These are the police trying to talk him out of it. 
Well, you know, they, they, it didn't work, and the police did eliminate the uh, threat to the woman. This is happening all the time. This is, again, why you don't want to be in the middle of these type of areas in these times because we really haven't seen it start yet. It's just, it's only beginning. It, it's really only uh, beginning at this point in time. It's getting pretty crazy out there. Pakistan, as you have how many nations that are having problems with protests because people don't like the election results or the election results if you guys know what i mean because it's all being unraveled and exposed this is the apocalypse after all the people of pakistan will now allow the state or the military uh, to steal their voice let's just say you're going to have revolution on top of revolution it's already happening it's already yeah i mean it's been foretold again when you look uh, explicitly to nostradamus the insiders insider who worked for the church he worked for uh, the political structure, the monarchy, and he spoke of revolutions in countries going on for many years, all the while there being a global war. This is exactly the situation that we see. He also spoke of a certain branch of Islam, Islamic people coming into the NATO nations. He, he, he talked primarily about France and um Italy mostly in the quatrains that I can think of where he talks about them literally burning cities to the ground some cities twice because they were hiding weapons under their robes now you know not to say that you're uh, Islamophobic or any of these things but the reality is these these different religions have been set up on a collision course on purpose and we could just look to the Crusades to see what what has manifested because of differences in religion and you know we talked about on patreon the fact that they want to they want to build a, a third temple and that's part of bible prophecy which again you know israel has been restored after 1900 years or almost about that you know again 70 a.d and then uh, 1948 but it was by the Rothschilds in the UN. It wasn't by the creator of this universe. No, it's by the Rothschilds in the UN. And Israel is using uh, illegal substances in their GEN. Oh, boy. It, it certainly isn't uh, cider, like apple cider, going on. No, it's something very, very dark going on on this planet. By the way, fungal infections in Gaza are killing lots of Israeli soldiers. Well, you know, they had a compliance thing they had to do. And perhaps it is one of the most um, up-to-date nations in a certain area on the planet. Well, you know, if you don't have a good immune system, you're going to get things like fungal infections. Just saying. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, that's no good. That's no good, definitely, across the board. And we have so many of these people that are committing these crimes. And then, you know, they go up and somebody says, well, they're they're stepping down. But w what's going to happen for these heinous crimes? I mean, is, is anything really going to happen? Is that the level of um, decency that we live in is all somebody has to do is step down yet they still have a mercedes they still have a mansion they still have a nice a nice fat budget they get to work on a nice severance package nothing happens to them and how about hitler you know right. what happened to him oh well, he committed suicide and they burnt the body yeah no he no. he went to argentina he went he went to antarctica argentina he traveled all through latin america mm -hmm. And he was still alive uh, when I was born 20 plus years after the war. Right. You know, so what I mean, what really happens to them? So I am not trying to take everyone's hope away, but I think our hope is misplaced if we think that there's something that's going to happen to any single one of these people that are in power. You can't trust the system to police the system. I mean, that's just insanity. How, how do you trust the system? to go ahead and police the system mm -hmm. you can't you know you can't it's like telling the wolf to watch the hen house and just expecting that everything's going to be okay I and mean, it instinctually that would be very foolish because wolves have <laughs> instincts and they're going to follow them that doesn't make them bad it just makes them a thing so as long as you know what these things are out there in this world you know how to avoid it i think that's where we need to place our energy is 
um, have creating a world that we control and we can function in <clears throat> and work uh, with one another. So now what they want to do is they want to appease humanity by switching the power structure to the BRICS nations instead of the NATO nations. But, you know, it's the same old boss because these are all pawns. Right here, we have a statement from a, a Russian uh, polit politician saying the aggressive actions of the U.S. and U.K. and the Red Sea remind us of the worst of times of the barbaric and illegal NATO bombings of Yugoslavia, Afghanistan, Iraq, Libya, and Syria. In the meantime, they sh shamelessly exploit counterterrorism narrative and the so-called right to self-defense. Yeah, again, right to self-defense 8,000 miles away from your country. It, that's just crazy, right? At the same time, how about, you know, the founder of, of the Soviet Union? And when we, we look to Lenin and then when Stalin took over, Stalin did a purge that killed tens of millions. How about Mao and the Great Revolution for the people of the people? Yeah, right. Again, tens of millions of people killed, exterminated. They're all part of the system. And, you know, again, we're not going to get any real change just switching from one to another. And that's what they want to do. They, they use humanity like a ping pong ball. You go from the left to the right and you go more extreme every time. Uh, Iraq calls for the implementation of 2020 parliament vote demanding the expulsion of U.S. troops. Uh, well, you know, there are reports that the U.S. is going to abandon Iraq and Syria We'll see if that does happen, but the reality is they'll be overrun uh, regardless within a couple months, maybe two to three months uh, at max. It, it's just part of what's coming in, in, this, in these times. But what's also happening is people are catching on to just how big this is with the apocalypse revealing. Over half the signatures of Hawaii's emergency management log have been eradicated. They've been taken off. This has never happened before, so said a professional of over 40 years. The people that signed in uh, on that day, the, co the county redacted more than half the names. You know, when, when we look at people like The Rock and Oprah, you can never look at these people the same way again. And even if you already kind of had discussed in your... Uh, you know, a disgusting taste in your mouth looking at them in the first place, knowing just how deep, how deep, how corrupt, how horrible it is. It, it's, it just takes it to an all new level. We forget about Maui because there's so many other things going on. We forget about East Palestine if it wasn't for these anniversaries, you know, that pop up because the world's going through so many of these catastrophes, one after the other after the other. It's it's almost impossible to keep up with it. Meanwhile, you know, the power structure, honestly, it, these people, for the most part, when you really listen to the politicians, even the ones that seem to be saying the right things, and you look in deep, I don't see a lot of intelligence. I don't see any real new ideas. I see all, it's just the same old, same old. These are the most corruptible people. This is why they are in the position that they're in, because it's very easy to buy them off, and they have been bought off. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I don't know. I, I don't know. Probably I'm going to get in some trouble for, for mentioning this. But when you, when you look at animals, um, and if there's a lot of inbreeding, a lot of line breeding, certain things happen to them and they're not as functional however they can be manipulated and made to function the way that they need to but that line breeding happens and it's really really bad for a reason and i i look at this issue and and i think they are just so easily overtaken from these entities because they keep those bloodlines intact or they find the bloodlines, they recruit the bloodlines, they teach the bloodlines. It's like, it's just really a bad situation we find ourselves in. If we are holding hope out for anyone that's, that's currently in power, because they all have this bloodline issue. They are all very easily, easily overshadowed. Yeah, and, and the world's waking up to things, and it's it's going to be a little bit of an ugly period. This is just what's going to be uh, going on. France, em French embassy set on fire in the Congo. 
when you realize like the taxation, there still is child labor going on. They're still digging in mines. It, it, it's no different than the times when the Anunnaki were here themselves. Uh, and then yet we do have the natural going on to counteract this. And then, of course, they want you to lather on the sunscreen. They want you to say, OK, go ahead and block out all the sunlight. You know, it just shows the reality of this world. It's ruled by the darkest of dark en entities. Yes, absolutely. It, the Bible will even tell you, you know, who rules this world. Satan rules this world. Well, again, when you look to the largest world religions, they're going to obviously be satanic in origin. You know, they, they've taken everything that is good and natural and twisted and distorted. And this is exactly what they do. There is truth in there. You can find some truth. You can find some golden nuggets. But then again, uh, the main philosophies, be they political or religious, are all about manipulation. Ah, the big reveal. Well, the sun is waking up. Look at this one. This was almost another X-class flare here. It was an M9.0. Unexpectedly, a coronal mass ejection was detected passing uh, the Discover spacecraft around 123 UTC on the 11th. A passage past Earth was just picked up by magnetometers. Increased geomagnetic activity may be possible in the upcoming hours. It is all affecting consciousness. What Cindy is picking up now, there's been different energy at different times. Uh, at times, the sun is sending us a boost for our, our immune system. For those that haven't gone ahead and started the transition into a, that new uh, lower than Homo sapiens sapiens species by agreeing to become part of the synthetic Borg, you're getting upgrades. Yeah, you're getting immune system upgrades. You're getting pineal gland awakening upgrades as well. And that's what this energy is doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's the pineal gland. The pineal gland is really getting a boost here. Um, it, it's going to allow you to see even further past the BS screen. Right now, you guys are very, very good about seeing past so many different veils, but this is going to bring you another level. And with, with this, when you go within and you amplify this energy and you purify, you go through the purification process because you might be sick. A lot of people might be tired. Might, a lot of people might be having things going on with them that they don't know what's going on. Know that this is a purification process. And after that is done and you take really good care of yourself and you do the right thing, then this energy allows more things to open up for you. You know, it, this is a Looney Tune world. And when we look at, you know, the political, geopolitical situation, and I'll give you guys the link to this. It's really cute, but I'm sure there would be a copyright strike on this one. Uh, yeah, it's, it's crazy. It really is crazy to think that some of these people could make any real big time global decisions. That's insanity. They don't make any decisions. It, it, it's Looney Tunes. It is Looney Tunes. The inmates are running the asylum. Uh, absolutely. It is an asylum. These people are just, they, they don't deserve to be where they are. Again, they have gotten to where they are because they've already sold out the planet, the entirety of the planet. And they're all about ego. They're all about ego. They're all about just bettering themselves. We need a totally new system. This system is broke. It's not going to be fixed. And yes, karma sometimes strikes in unusual ways. <laughs> it does. And you might not have to even do a whole lot to uh, get karma to activate herself. <laughs> But we want to thank you guys. May you all be blessed and kept safe in these times. Source bless and namaste. Namaste.